Memorial service today on the SMU campus for a police officer still missing. Officer Mark McCullers was swept away on July 5th after a flash flood overwhelmed Dallas's Turtle Creek. CBS 11 Steve Pickett joins us live from the SMU campus where the officer was remembered for his dedication and service. A full service with uh, officers from all around North Texas here today. Uh, a lot of folks obviously still grieving here, his personal family, also his police family here on this SMU campus. But this was also not just about the grief for this family and his broader family. It was also about recognizing this man's life. Mark's career with us ended way too soon. The narrative of a man's journey through the voices of those who walked that journey with him. Since the beginning, you've always been my amazing Mark. Mark McCullers, Tiffany's husband, father of six, Marine Four Nation, and a college campus cop. There remains a search to find the SMU police officer's body. Now three weeks after floodwaters from Dallas's Turtle Creek overwhelmed everything in its path, including McCullers and his car. Today, his brother-in-law described the other badge McCullers wore but as we, uh, and lived. Here's a man that set aside his life to care for someone in a time of sickness after a few short months. Here's a man that years later would marry this woman and open his heart to her three children. Here's a man that was devoted to loving and caring for all of his children. The mayors of Dallas, Highland Park, and University Park. Police from agencies throughout North Texas, all here to pay honor to another fallen officer. What they received was the message of gratitude for a man who protected and served in every facet of his life. Through you, I learned what true, unconditional, unwavering love is. You loved your children, your family, your friends, fiercely and without limits or boundaries. And the search continues for the remains of this man. That duty now to the State Wildlife and Parks Organization. Those team members still going forward despite this special memorial for this man today. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.